Hey guys, what's going on? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Brittany Nicole, and today we are doing an Allie Glines inspired video, full face of nothing new. So these videos have kind of been going around for a while. I think I have a couple of Shop My Stash videos on my channel from a while back, but it has been a long time, probably because every single makeup brand is launching a new product, what feels like every week lately and being a youtuber you need to stay caught up with all of the trends and trying the new products to stay relevant so it has been quite a while since i've done one of these videos but if you guys have been with me for a while you know i'm a huge supporter of using the makeup you have if you guys click down in my description video you'll see that oftentimes i am using a lot of the same things because I'm not one of those YouTubers who has a billion, gajillion followers. I did just hit 30,000. Thank you guys so, so much for that. I want to thank each and every one of you for your support and for being here. It really does mean the absolute world to me. So anyway, what I'm getting at is I don't have brand sending me PR. I don't have a huge stash of makeup. I have six drawers that pretty much holds all of my makeup, my palettes and brushes I keep in a different place. but. I want to use the makeup that I buy because I spend my hard-earned pennies on that and I want to get the use out of it. Now, of course, like I said in the beginning, I am a YouTuber and I want to stay relevant and I want to try new things so you guys don't have to try them, but I did make a promise to myself to use more of my makeup and doing these videos just kind of helps others get inspired to do that as well. I also met somebody this weekend and she said that she has a daughter who has $3,000 or $4,000 worth of makeup on her vanity and she doesn't even know how to use it and that just breaks my heart because we are in a culture these days with social media and YouTube and branding and all that stuff of just consume, 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 buy this, buy this, get this, get this, new launch, new product, you know what I mean? Like we're constantly being subjected to these new products that are launching and we forget about old favorites. So that's what the point of this video is and I am so excited to dive in. I'm looking at this makeup like super excited because some of these things I haven't touched for quite a while. Like I said, I don't have too much makeup but it does get pushed to the back as new products take over and I fall in love with new things. So if you are interested in rediscovering some old favorites, I'm actually curious to see if I even like some of these things anymore. Go ahead and keep watching. I'm actually having some issues with my skin. I'm trying out a new skincare brand and I don't know if it's just my face getting used to it, but I'm breaking out and I haven't gotten like a pimple break out like this in a very, very long time. So I don't know what's going on here, but we've got some things to cover today. So the first thing I want to try is the Lancome La Base Pro. I got this like a year ago and I was super obsessed with it. It made my skin feel super soft and it made everything on top of it go super, super seamlessly. And I feel like it made my makeup last longer. So I don't know what happened, but I just completely forgot about it and that was probably at least eight months ago. I think I got this during like the 21 days of beauty last year from Ulta and I just kind of started falling a little bit more in love with more hydrating products and this is definitely less hydrating, hydrating, <laughs> hydrating, more mattifying and I tend to like a little bit more of a glowy base so I don't know if I'm gonna love this but it sure does make my skin feel so soft. All right so I let that primer sit in for about 10 minutes. I like to let my primer sit in and do its magic rather than going right in with the next product. I totally forgot I brought out the Smashbox primer water but you know let's just do it for the heck of it. We're gonna double prime today. I think that's extremely excessive and in my day to day I would never never double prime but I do think that this is going to be a little too mattifying because we are going in with more of a matte foundation. So I am going to go ahead and give my face a couple of spritzes of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. There's a fly. Alright. It's like that up clip. He made me this color so that I may talk. Squirrel! My master is good at Who loves Up? That's like one of my freaking favorite Disney movies in the world. I know it's like super depressing, but I also love it a ton. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and give my face a couple of spritzes of this. Like I said, don't double, don't feel the need. Eh, maybe we're not. Yeah, okay. There we go. This. 
You know a product is old when you can't even get it to spray anymore. This stuff smells like Windex to me. But anyway, do not feel the need to double prime like this. That is very excessive and make sure that you have an actual working spritzer. But I think my face is going to thank me for that little extra hydration because we're going in with the Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage Foundation. I think this was like a year and a half ago, maybe two years. This hit the market. I was so obsessed with it. This was before I got like super, super into my more dewy foundations, but I don't know. This might be a little too mattifying, but I haven't touched this for a very long time. I don't even know the last video. So I'm going to go ahead and put a couple of this is gross looking because it was like foundation was kind of caked down there. But I'm going to go ahead and put a couple of pumps on the back of my hand. And I'm going to go in with a brush. This is the Sigma F82. And I'm going to kind of work that onto the skin with this brush. And then I'm going to smooth over it with my AOA Paw Paw brush. I really like the way it looks. My mirror is kind of far away from me, but I really like the way it looks right now. And I've barely had to use any foundation. A little bit goes a long way. And I remember that with this one. Okay, so I'm just trying to smooth over a little bit with my sponge, but it looks so dry on my forehead. It looks dry around my mouth. It looks dry around my nose. From a distance and on camera, it looks really pretty. Like I said, when I was looking at it in my little mirror here, it looked so pretty. But when I get up close, and I'll, I'll get up close so you guys can see, hopefully, it doesn't look good. It looks way, it looks like I have alligator skin. Hair needed to go up. It is way too hot to be doing this right now. All right, so I just want to sit up close here. I don't know if you guys can see my forehead but it looks especially dry on there. It is kind of emphasizing my pores a little bit, but let's just go on to the next thing. I don't want to get like too in depth until the end here. Otherwise this video is going to be a million minutes long. It's probably going to be a million minutes long anyway, but this you guys, the Sephora Bright Future Gel Concealer. I was so obsessed with this a couple years ago. This was like the only thing I used. I've always liked more of a hydrating concealer. This is in the color fondant, which is kind of light. And this is one that's not as pigmented, which is why I'm going in a little bit heavier. You guys know if I'm using my Too Faced, I wouldn't go in this heavy. This is definitely more of a gel consistency. It's lighter. It's almost like light coverage, maybe gets into medium, like, slightly but it really kind of blends out from what I remember actually that looks pretty freaking full covered right now maybe I'm mis misremembering here but I used to love this it didn't get cakey under my eyes I think this is about a shade too light for me but you know times have changed I also kind of still have a little bit of a remaining spray tan on right now but I loved this stuff. I definitely always need to set my concealer. See, now it's kind of looking light. Once you blend it out, it's fairly light coverage to me, at least using a sponge. But yeah, I used to really like this stuff. I used to always recommend it to my friends if they were like, what concealer do I need? I don't even know if Sephora still sells this because the last time I looked, they were, they had like only a few colors and they were on super sale. So I don't know. Let's see what we think about this. I used to be super obsessed and I still am with this powder. I just don't use powders very much anymore. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish and this was one of those really highly marketed by the YouTubers on here kind of powders and I totally fell for it. But it is a really nice powder. It's very, very flawless, very, very little coverage, but it, it just kind of sets the face down. So I'm going to use this to set my under eyes. Here's to hoping. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure there's no creases. God, this stuff blends out so pretty. It's one of those like emollient kind of concealers. So, you know, some kind of start to set down and then when you go to blend it out, it doesn't work. This still blends out really nicely even when it's been sitting for a few minutes, which I really like. I think my Too Faced Born This Way kind of starts to set itself down and then it's kind of hard to blend out. But anyway, 
Um, I've been using my Laura Mercier for such a long time. I stopped using this under the eyes, so we'll see here. I'm only using a little bit. I'm talking like dot wipe set. Somebody is vacuuming. If you can hear that, it wouldn't be a video without extra noises, would it? All right, I've got to get a move on. I do such a bad job at full faces makeup, which is why I usually don't do it because I talk about everything for way too long. So this is what the face is looking like. It definitely looks dry. My pores definitely look emphasized with the foundation. The concealer looks pretty nice right now. So we'll see how that goes, but I do want to move on to bronzer. This is the Wet n Wild Sunset Strip Tease. I feel like Wet n Wild, as I start to go in, I'm going to talk and do. I feel like Wet n Wild with their pow like their highlights are by far what made them kind of stand out on the market. But then they dropped these bronzers and I loved them. I thought they were so pretty, so pigmented, and then I kind of forgot about them. So I have like, I think six different shades of their bronzers. I literally ordered all of them because I am psycho and I thought that they would all sell, sell out. Wow, that was super heavy up there. It, this does have a tiny, tiny little bit of a sheen to it, like a healthy sheen. It's definitely pigmented, so go in with a light hand. I went in quite heavy on my forehead, but it does blend out really easy. So I'm gonna move this one back to the front of my stash because I really like them. And like I said, I have like six different colors, so I can make this work whatever shade I am. And I think they're like $5.99 or something like that. So super good price. I think that looks so good. Yeah, I am definitely bringing this out to the front of my collection again because I forgot how much I loved that. So let's move on to blush. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blushes. This was like a set from a while ago that had a bunch of them. This was like the first formula where I fell in love with blush because it really did last all day and it had the perfect amount of pigment. So I bought this like right at the tail end of me falling in love with it and then I discovered new blushes and I rarely, I've barely used any of these to be honest. So I think I wanna kinda go with like a really pretty pink. So I'm gonna go in with Surreal, that's this shade right here. It's like a, it's a bright pink, but it's kind of like a blue pink. I don't know if the camera is picking it up. I'm kind of far away from the camera right now, but let me move it. There you go, now you guys can kind of see it there. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna use this Sigma Practic bronzer concealer because I don't wanna go in too heavy because I remember these being really, really pigmented. So let's see. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Definitely bringing these to the front. Again, you guys can immediately see the pigment payoff on that and I find a lot of times on camera, you guys can't even see what I'm doing because blush tends to be less pigmented. This is so pretty. Oh my God, I'm living for that. I just wanna kinda touch over the edges to blend that in because I did go in quite heavy handed with that. When I re-fall in love with something, sometimes I forget that you have to use moderation and then I just keep going and going. So that is so pretty. What a pretty flush of pink. This is like the color that I naturally blush. So that's so pretty. This is definitely going to the front of my makeup again. So let's go in with highlight. You guys know when I discovered the Lottie London Shimmer Squad palette, I was obsessed with the Queen Bee. This was like the only highlight I was using and then I just stopped using it. So I want to grab a highlighting brush and try this again. I remember this being really, really pigmented. So I definitely kind of try to use moderation with this one. Oh yeah. Are you even a YouTuber if you put highlight on and you don't go, oh yeah, or wow, or oh my god. Yeah, that's really pretty. In the pan, it looks super golden, but when you put it on, it's just the most pretty champagne color. Someone just got home from his training session, right? We're going to be a good boy for the rest of the day. 
So sorry, I did highlight the rest of my face. So I highlighted the tip of the nose, down the nose, and the cupid's bow. And I feel like the face is looking a little bit better. Like I was saying, since I had the matte foundation, I feel like I needed a little bit more highlight than usual just to kind of bring, you know, some life back into the face. So I will highlight the inner corner as well, but this is also going back to the front of my stash because that is so pretty. It doesn't highlight any of my texture and I love the color. I think that'll work also when I'm tan and not tan. And I think this thing is like 10 bucks at Ulta and it's got lots of good colors. So next up, eyes. Actually, before we do eyes, I always like to spritz my face when the entire face is done. And you guys know when I got this, the NYX Bear With Me Primer Set Refresher Spray. I loved it. I love this. I love the spray. It's so fine. I love the smell of it. I love everything about this. So I'm going to go ahead and use this. And again, are you even a YouTuber if you don't spray your face a thousand times? All right, after that spray, the face does look better. I feel like it looks like it's got a little bit of glow to it once again, and the forehead doesn't look so alligatory. So I'm liking that a little bit more. So let's move into these eyes, starting with the brows. I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Brow Wiz in medium brown. This is one that I used to use all the time, and then I started using powder, and I really never looked back. I did just bring this on my work trip, and I kind of re-fell in love with it then. So I wanted to use it in this video as well I'm gonna skip over this but just know this is what I'm using it's gonna take me a minute to fill these in I still kind of have a little bit of my uh, brow tint in my brow so it's not gonna take quite as long but I love this stuff I need to bring it back into my like life permanently because Every once in a while, it's just really nice to use a pencil. Let's move on to the actual eye. So you guys, I am so excited for this. If you guys have been with me for a while, you know how much I loved the Revolution Emily edit. You know what? I just said in a video there wasn't anything that ever worked from Makeup Revolution for me, but this did. I love this. This is like the only Makeup Revolution product that has worked for me. I love her palette so much and there have just been so many eyeshadow palette launches this year. I have just not grabbed for this and I'm just not like a huge eyeshadow person most of the time but I've been really craving a burgundy kind of like fall look and this is such a good fall palette. Look at these colors. They're just stunning. They blend really, really well. They are so stinking pretty. So I'm gonna kind of fast forward through this as I go because it would take a very long time. I'll let you guys know what I'm using, but this isn't gonna be like a full eyeshadow tutorial, but I'm just gonna kind of do like a burgundy bronzy look. I think I'm going to use like good vibes in the center and then dues paid this one and then maybe Midwest something like that. So let's get this started. Oh my god how lame am I? Let's get this started. I need to get out more. <laughs> I also need to wipe off these foundation crusty lips. All right so starting with dues paid and Midwest just kind of a mixture of both. That's what I'm going to put I'm going to do like a halo eye here. So I'm going to put this into like the crease area and then I'm going to bring it down into the outer third and then the inner third as well. All right, that literally took me no time. That's just dues paid in Midwest. Dues paid is pretty much what's on the lid and then Midwest is what's in the like crease area and that takes no time. These blend so beautifully. So I'm just going to put that under the eye as well. All right, and then on a little flat brush, I'm just gonna take a little bit of Cheer, which is more of a burgundy color, and I'm gonna put that on the lid just to kind of transform this more into that burgundy type of look I was looking for. The fall look, if you will. I have way too many brushes in my hands right now. Let them down. When I used to do bridal makeup, I feel like the more I'm on a time crunch and I feel like I'm rushing right now because I don't want this video to be too long, the more I kind of like hold on to things. So when I used to do wedding makeup, I would have like 18 brushes in my hands trying to do someone's makeup and whoever I was working with would be like, Brittany, put a brush down. It's going to be all right. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's so pretty. Give me all the fall things right now. 
and add a little of that under the eye as well. Okay, so now I feel like a little stuck because I have the Essence Metal Shock eyeshadows and I love these and I kind of want to use one. Like, I kind of want to go gold and then maybe put Top Story over it instead of Good Vibes. Or I can lay this one down and do good. You know what? Let's go gold. The, well, shoot. Is that going to be too Christmassy? No, let's just do it. Let's freaking do it. Let's take a risk here. We're playing with old makeup and let's do it. So I'm going to take this Essence Metal Shock eyeshadow. You can find these in Ulta store still, but for some reason they're not online anymore. This one is in the shade Solar Explosion and these work so well for me. I prefer these a little bit more than the Stila Magnificent Metals. Oh yeah. I've had these for way too long. These were probably should be thrown away, might be expired, but you know. Ooh, that's intense. This is this is an intense look for me. Whoa. Alright, and real quick, I'm gonna take Top Story, which is like a bronzy gold. And I'm gonna take that on this Sigma Practic shade. Shade. It's not called shader, it's called shade brush and set Ooh, that's a little dark and eh, whatever it's fine probably in hindsight not the best choice but you know we'll make it work all right I'm gonna just take this Morphe M507 and we're gonna start to blend those edges I haven't sat down and just like allowed myself to be really creative with makeup without a plan for a while so it's kind of fun to do this. Alright I am going to take a little of that gold on just a pencil brush and I'm going to work that right under the center of the eye too. Alright that is like very very intense for me. This is a lot of eyeshadow so I'm going to even these out and then I'm going to put on a pair of lashes and some mascara. I'll let you know what I put on when I come back. I'll try to find an oldie. I don't even know if I have any old uh, lashes but I'll go through my stash and see and then I'll meet you back here. I'm going to put some either brown or burgundy liner on as well and I will meet you right back here. Five hours later we are back with our eyes complete. That got super out of hand. I had so much fun playing with the Emily Edit palette. Like I rediscovered my love for this and I'm super happy. When I was doing this video I knew that I was going to re-fall in love with this especially for fall. So look at how pretty this looks. I am so obsessed. They blend so super well. I know these lashes are super intense. I'm going to have to update you down below when I figure out what the heck these were. I know they are not new. I know I've put these on and been like holy crap those are way too intense. Like uh, they itch my like hood and my eyebrows when I look like that and these are really really long but they're really pretty with this look and super fluttery so I really really like it so let's get on to these lips so if you guys have been with me for a while once again you know how much I was obsessed with the Jordana rock and rose liner I've just kind of stepped away from mechanical liners but I still do love this so I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with this and then this is an oldie but a goodie but I don't even know if I'm going to like it anymore because it is a matte lipstick and she is old you guys. Like this is probably two, maybe two and a half years old. Definitely should be thrown away but I think it'll look really good with this look and I used to wear this in like almost all of my videos. This is the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid in Nude Thrill. So I'm going to throw both of these on. We might put a gloss over it. I don't know. We'll get there when we get there, but let me go ahead and throw these on and I will be right back. This is the lip liner I did fill in alone and that looks so pretty. It's like not super matte, it's almost like a satin finish. I really like that, but I am going to top it off with the Maybelline. That actually doesn't feel too matte at all. That feels super comfortable, so I'm not going to throw a gloss on it. So all we have to do is set the face. So I was going to grab my Morphe setting spray, but that would just be way too many sprays. So I am going to grab my NYX Bear With Me Prime Set Refresh, and we're just going to set the face. 
Alright you guys, the face is set and this is what everything is looking like. I am so obsessed with this. I think it is so pretty. I wish it wasn't nighttime and I could wear this out because I love it. I had so much fun with the Makeup Revolution Emily Edit Palette. This is definitely outside of my norm. If you're new here, this is not the typical makeup I do. Usually it's like one, two colors, real simple. So this is definitely a treat and I love how it turned out. There are so many products I've rediscovered that I'm definitely going to bring to the front of my drawer. The Wet n Wild Bronzer, the Tarte Blush, the NYX Setting Spray. So many good rediscoveries here. I did want to mention for my mascara, I did use the Milani Lash Trifecta just on my lower lashes since I have the falsies on the top. And I do like this stuff. It doesn't get any, like typically when I'm going in with a mascara like my Essence Lash Princess, which I've been using a lot. I always end up getting dots everywhere with this. I don't get that. So I need to repurchase this though because this is definitely dried out. So I hope this video was as fun for you as it was for me. And I hope it's inspiring to shop your stash before falling into the culture we live in of needing to purchase every single new item that comes out. I try to do this myself before I go and purchase something that's like new, a new palette. Like look at your collection. Chances are you have all those colors in different palettes and you don't need it. So before you go and spend hundreds and hundreds on makeup, and don't get me wrong, I just placed an $150 order from Sephora for the VIB sale and then I purchased some Thrive Cut Cosmetics stuff so like don't get me wrong I do that but this is just hopefully inspiring you guys to shop your stash before spending a bunch of money on makeup you might already have so thank you so much for watching if you guys have any questions as always please let me know below otherwise if you're interested in seeing any more videos from me please subscribe it means the absolute world to me and I hope to see you in the next one bye bye